Well, morning everybody. We're out again. Can't get rid of me now, can you? Saturday morning, 10 past 10. Uh, where are we going today? We are going to the Superbike factory, which, stupidly, I've only just found exists at Castle Donington. So I'm going to meet the chap who uh, who let me know that it was there, actually. It's uh, John McPhee from uh, at McPhee Media. So John's been a subscriber and a regular chatteroo. See you in a bit, John. Don't be late. Thought I'd go for a squirt first thing and then head over there and have, uh, have a coffee and chew the fat. If you've never had a look at the Superbike, uh, Superbike Factory website, go to the website. There are literally thousands of bikes on there. And they're, a lot of them are sort of the lowest price on the market, second-hand bikes. So oh, I want one as a project for commuting. I don't want to pay a lot of money for it. I've got a model in mind. I don't want to speak too much about that because, uh, well, I just want to keep my powder dry because I don't know whether it's all going to work out yet. I'm hoping in the long run it will work out far cheaper because I'm going to use it as a year-round commuter. So my car at the moment costs me at least 80 quid a month and that's just the fuel, okay? So uh, if I get a decent little commuter and then I can use that instead of my car. So the model I've got in mind about 70 to 75 mpg. So that will probably happen around May time. I'm sort of doing some, uh, some research, some homework before I venture down that route. The numbers look good to me. If I'm commuting every day and my car is sitting at home, uh, then it will cut down on servicing costs it's an older car now as well, it's uh, 128,000 miles, I'm determined I am not changing that car, not for a, you know, not for a while anyway. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge uh, into, you know, well not through the summer obviously, <laughs> that's going to be easy. Uh, but I just think that using this bike for commuting is just wrong, I'm just piling miles on the bike it's it's 20 miles to get to work but i just think that piling miles on this bike just to go to work is wrong and this uses a lot more gas and i'm always more tempted to razz it as well it's harder to filter on this bike so getting a smaller bike smaller cc i'm not bothered about speed i'm not bothered about power the maximum really i get up to going to work is about 60 and that's only in uh, that's only on the back lanes the rest of the time it's 40 mile an hour limit some of that under uh, speed cameras average speed cameras so, you know there's no there's no point in having a powerful bike to go to work on and ruining my beautiful Africa twin just to go to where I work what's the point of that so this is going to be you know my main pleasure bike so I'm still going to do stuff on the bike that I'm going to buy for doing the commuting on. So I'm going to do uh, a few tours on it. Uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll publish all of my expenditure. So it gives you an idea how much it costs to, to do this sort of thing. You older guys who think you'd like to pass your test and, uh, you know, get a bike. It's the bike that I'm going to get is the ideal. It's the ideal bike for sort of a bit of any everything. They're they're really tough. They're robust. You can do you can do lots with them. You can go on tours with them. Yeah, they're not the fastest. So what? So yeah, I'm taking sort of a convoluted route out to meet John. I need a pee pee.
is he here? I cannot see his bike. Here he is. It's not on his bike, little fucker. How are you, mate? You're all right. Ah, uh, not bad. Hey, buddy. Hi, mate. Listen, all them get you down. You keep doing what you're doing, because you're fantastic. Oh, you know, you know what? You watch my channel. I follow you on YouTube. Nice to meet you, mate. What's yeah. your name? Alan. Alan. Nice to meet you, Alan. Hey, darling. You're yeah, right. We watched you. It was like when you went. I've had enough, and this is like. <laughs> Because <laughs> there ain't many about that, you know, do what you do, as good as what you do. No, thank you for that. Absolutely. I went, oh. 360 went, 260 went, 260 went, 260 went. Did you not go and fetch it? Uh, hey, yeah, I did, I found it. Yeah, mate, just keep going. I will do, mate. Like, I, I said to Andy, I said, always chucked his teddy out. I did, I did, I proper spat yeah. me, dumb it. Anyway. Oh, brilliant. I'm flicking up and down YouTube and going, that what? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still, I'm still going to be around. I'm still going to be around. Fair play to you, mate. All right, mate. Yeah. Cheers, Alan. Good Thanks a lot, mate. No worries. I hope if I'm about the bike, I'll you'll know, definitely will. From this area, and I'm yeah. always mountain and stuff anyway. Yeah, so. cool. Yeah, no worries. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. See you soon. Oh, how fantastic! Meeting people who know me, who know motor mogul and come up and say hello like that it just means the world thanks alan thank you sir so that was uh, superbike factory it was really pretty good actually oh, a bit of sun visor action god how unusual so thank you john for meeting me this morning it was really nice actually getting together having a bit of a chin wag nice to meet you too pat don't forget to subscribe mate Thanks for the bacon butty, John. I am going to have to start buying people breakfast. You know, this is the second time now I've been out and got a free breakfast. Very kind of you, John. Thank you. Roads are drying out nicely now. Lovely jubbly. So, yeah, they've got a lot of bikes in there. A lot of bikes in the Superbike Factory. I know that their reputation isn't brilliant. Believe me, if you're going to buy a bike from anywhere that's sort of a, a motorcycle supermarket like that, then uh, you have to go in with your eyes open and be aware of what you're buying. I thought I would bring a tiller to where I normally do my walk-arounds. When I borrow bikes from Pidcocks, this is where I normally come. So I don't think I've ever brought a tiller here. Seems rude not to. I love the software that Apple use for uh, their camera. You can tap in multiple different places around the screen until you get the light just right. For this sort of photography, I hate to admit it, it's really not worth bringing the DSLR. It's not brilliant for every kind of photo. More horses. So I'm nearly home now then folks, we've just got to go the next bit of lane and then I'm back in 
my village. I'm going to sign off now. Thank you for coming with me on just this, another short video out to uh, the Superbike Factory at Castle Donington. Well worth a visit. Nice little cafe there. Thank you, John, for breakfast. That was really kind. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to leave me a like and a subscribe. Don't forget. So I'll see you on the next one. Nothing planned at the moment. Although I need to ring Pidcox and get organised with another test ride. I will be getting back out on the bike from Pidcox. And it's more than likely going to be the Triumph of Bobber. So quite looking forward to that. I'll see you on the next video guys. Don't know when that's going to be. Probably in another week or two. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye. Thank you.